welcome in this part we'll be understanding the state management with query strings within mvc application and in this part 14 of the asp.net core 3.1 and we'll walk through query strings as a means for state management and demonstrate the query strings in action through code example in mvc now a limited amount of data can be passed from one request to another by adding it to the new request query string this is useful in capturing state in a persistent manner that allows links with embedded state to be shared through email or social networks we are able to retrieve data from the query string and display it on the page however we should never use query strings for sensitive data as url url query strings are public such as in a password or bank details bank account numbers etc now let's switch over to visual studio so here we have got this user details controller that we have made in the previous lecture and sessions state now here i will add another action method okay so i will call this this will be also public and it will identically return an i action result Initialize another instance of employee object or employee type. Okay, so now here I am going to assign the name to a actual value and not I will not get it from the session. Okay, unlike the earlier method where we are setting it in session and getting from a get string method. Okay, so here let us say uh, now before that what i will do is i'll have to uh, modify the query string to accept the parameters for the um, this employee class properties as parameters to the get query string method so i'll just comment it out for the moment and then pass this as string name string gender and then string department and finally an integer or in 32 just be right and then i'll keep on assigning name to the uh, query string uh, get query string prim, uh, parameters or arguments name equals name comma now properties are assigned the values from the get query string parameters okay so department department and then gender equal to the assign the past parameter as name department gender you can pass them in any order you could pass you could make this gender above the department or just before the department doesn't matter name gender department and p p is assigned the p parameter all right and then uh, this is semicolon to close the employee object and then return view employee return the employee view 
now here again i have to create a view to show this get query string action method so it has to have a view so i'll go for the auto generated one right click add view razor view add get query string and rather than empty i will use the employee model the template is details and model class is employee click on add user layout okay so the get query string view is generated in front of me and it uses the model class as the employee class so let us run this application again click on this ias express arrow so application is rendered on the browser now if i browse to user details slash get query string and then question mark get query string question mark name the parameters that i have passed name with n small uh, say john and gender equals male i don't need this quotes also and name gender department these are the passed on parameters i am assigning value say sales and finally p equals anything 6700 click on hit and enter oh wow you have got the get query string with employee name gender department pay okay name john gender male department sales and pay 6700 so that's our query string in act action and it passes the um, parameters to an action method through a query string which is not the safest way but it can show demonstrate a point of persisting data across the requests 